If you are what you say you are yeah. A superstar Then have no fear The camera's here And the microphones And they wanna know Oh, oh, oh If you are what you say you are A superstar Then have no fear The crowd A fresh, cool, young Lou Trying to cash his microphone Check 212 Wanna believe my own hype But it's too untrue The world brought me to my knees What if you brung you? Did you improve on the design? Did you do something new? Where your name in on the guest list? Who brung you? You The more famous person you come through And the sexy lady next to you You come too And then the hitman Standing outside of heaven Waiting for God to come and get me I'm too uncouth Unschooled to the rules And too gumshoe Too much of a newcomer And too uncool Like Shadow and Levine I battle with it well, though I need a holiday like lady who sung blue Go back, whatever you did, you undo Heavy as heaven, the devil on me two tons too If you are what you say you are A superstar Then have no fear The camera's here And the microphones And they wanna know oh, oh. So, my name is Muhammad Bindari and my story is I started playing basketball in seventh grade just because I'm uh, I was a big kid. I was six one, seventh grader ended up being six three in eighth grade. So I was a big kid. Had a coach that uh, tried to help me with some stuff, but wasn't really the most talented kid. Wasn't really the most gifted kid. Wasn't quick. Wasn't athletic. I didn't have the best shot. So I, I started off at zero. I remember freshman year, I played for Bayonne High School. I was on the freshman team, and I wasn't I wasn't even starting uh, freshman basketball. Um, and that that's year one. I was six year at the time. I could like dunk, but not consistently. I was still a, a post up player with my back to the basket. Uh, so I put in a lot of work over the summer because I was just unhappy with where I was. And then I ended up coming back my second year at Bayonne High School. I started varsity. I did well. I probably averaged like seven and seven. Um, so I'm starting varsity at Bayonne High School, and I end up moving to Jersey City. And I transferred to St. Anthony's High School, which is like one of the a very a top flight, nationally ranked uh, program with the Hall of Fame coach. And so I'm at a very competitive. This is like uber competitive high school where you're getting better every day and uh, not necessarily playing which I didn't I didn't play that much on the I was on a team that was stacked two years in a row so I wasn't the man but I still ended up going uh, ended up committing before my senior year I had the opportunity to commit before my senior season I committed to NJIT so uh That's division one right division one NJIT division one so I guess my story is just like keep working because I feel like I feel like I'm just I was I'm not the most gifted guy. I can't dunk. I don't really dunk on people. I don't really uh, shoot threes, but that mid range where I can still get give you buckets and uh, not hopefully not give up too many buckets on defense. How did Eyeball Academy help you? Eyeball Academy helped me by working, working with me on my athleticism, which is something I've always been weak in, and just overall confidence in me, like uh, like Coach Matt is talking about, like, yeah, I can see you playing with three in the NBA. I'm like, well, you know what? At least I have someone to believe in me, and if, and, that, and if that guy sees me doing that and working me towards that, I feel like, uh, I feel like I can do it. Who do you want to do with that one season? I feel like basketball is like a tool. Basketball is a tool. I can see putting a basketball down, but it's just so much fun. In it. And uh, I just like, I like seeing people fall off while I'm still working. I like seeing people uh, that were fresh, that were supposed to be better than me, 
and I'm better than them now, or kids uh, that just to dominate, just to dominate kids, be better than kids. Uh, that's that's really what I like. Hopefully, uh, I'm trying to play for the Egyptian national team one day. I feel like that's a big achievement for me. But um, like five year, ten year plan, I feel like uh, maybe I'll just be coaching some camp or you know doing something because I see myself really as a family man.